I thought it was good, uh, crisp. Um, too many turnovers, obviously. We can't do that. we got to really value the ball better than that. But I thought the energy, and we've had great energy all spring, and you know, we try to talk to them about having great energy out here. And, and uh, so other than probably the turnovers, you know, there, there was some holding calls in there. But, uh, uh, you know, I, I actually it was pretty clean, good-looking game out here. It was fun to watch as a spectator. You know, I had a nice time watching it. And, uh, you know, I had to kind of – try to keep it kind of even both sides they, they both thought they got cheated today by the officials but uh, uh, I tried I tried to balance it out some ways could you uh, take a broader view of the spring and if you accomplish what you hope to accomplish yeah I think so um, you know we wanted to see how the backs were this year obviously that's huge uh, and and we like our backs I mean we, we think we got three pretty good ones there um, and you know, and, and then we'll have two incoming freshmen. Our wideouts, uh, you know, are pretty solid. And most of the guys that, that went through spring played a lot last year for us. Up front, we got a lot of experience. So it's really, you know, we want to evaluate some of those young offensive linemen. Uh, Cade Capristo looked really good. I think he's going to be a solid backup center behind Tom this year and capable of playing for us. So you find those guys like that, the freshmen, and maybe even a redshirt freshman that hadn't played much. Uh, but, uh, you know, and Cade's one that comes to my mind. Um, you know, T.J. Baldwin had a really good spring. He's going to be really good for us. So, um, you know, there were, there are some young guys that we ended up redshirting that, uh, that 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 did have good springs. Bird ended the day with a bang. How about that? And, uh, how did he play? I was going to kick an onside kick, but then I thought that would spoil the moment, so I didn't do it. Plus, we don't have our onside kick team or hands team ready. But uh, he'll be in the mix, I presume. Oh yeah, last year. Cam's really good. Uh, Cam's he, he's he's come a long. I mean, I don't even say he's come a long way because we knew coming out of high school he was a tremendous athlete. He could run. He could do those things. Could do the things he just did right there. And um, he's going to be an excellent, excellent player for us. Oh yeah, he's in the mix. And you know, Donnie Hoylett and Jeremiah Grant and. Theos Figaro and Zion Bryson. We, we've got some players there we feel pretty good about, and Cam's one of them. As you move on, is there a priority that you'd like to get done? I don't know if there's a, you know, a strength deficiency or a speed deficiency or anything along those lines you want to work on. Well, I told Brinks the other day, and I just told our team, we got three weeks. We are going to push some iron, man, and that's it. Just push it and push it and push it and push it. I said he's got three weeks to really make some gains there. And then obviously summer, we'll, we'll get him going in summer. But, uh, you know, for the next three weeks before exam start, we're going to push some weight and, uh, and try to get stronger. Um, but, I, you know, he's doing a good job in the weight room. And I, I like our team. You know, I, li I like our team. And, you know, one of the officials came up to me afterwards that, and said, man, you guys look really good. Uh, and I think we're athletic, and I think we're pretty good up front on both sides of the ball, and I, and, and I think that's a good recipe for winning. Now, turnovers will kill you, but, uh, um, but you know, I like our team a lot. Is there any sense from these guys that have been here the last couple of years that there's even more confidence? The, the, the games in the last two years aren't going to win you any games this fall, but just in preparation that there's a little bit more focus or confidence or anything from what you've done the last two years? Yeah, I think part of it is they, they, you know, they know what's expected. They know how to practice. They, they know how to win. You know, they know what it takes to win. And, and I think that's, you know, it took us a while to figure that out. And, and, and our guys believe that they can win and, and they believe that what we do on the practice field in the weight room in the summer is our reasons why you win games. And it, it, they're not hard. I mean, they're not easy to win, man. To win a game is hard, and and um, so they know they got to they they know they got to work, and and that's why I remind them three weeks. This, these next three weeks need to be huge. Along those lines, named your captains today. What do you expect out of their player leadership from those guys this year? Well, they both done a great job this spring. I saw so, such great leadership from them throughout the spring. You know, you could tell. You know, I, I when I when I kind of, you know, we've we've got some good fifth-year seniors that that could very well be good captains, and Nick DeGennaro, Kate Salyers, um, 
Jeremiah Grant, those guys could be good, but the team voted and, and those three got the, the most votes. And uh, so we went with those three, but you know, we got we to gotta have more than just those three leading this football team. And, and I think everybody knows that. And so we're, we're pretty excited about, we're excited about those three guys, but you could see some great leadership this spring by those three. Uh, yeah, I mean, last year was, was, was pretty, uh, pretty much a mess compared to this year. We're getting things going a little bit, um, a little bit more. We're a little bit more mature in the system. A lot of young guys are doing a super, super job. So I think it's, it's been pretty exciting to see all these guys do really well. I mean, I haven't got a crazy amount of reps over this practice in this, these past five weeks. So it's been good to just be on the sideline and, and encourage the guys and see a lot of improvement. You look on the field like a clear-cut offensive leader. Do you feel that way? I mean, yeah, I do. I, I, I would say so. I mean, when you're one of the emphasized guys on the forefront, you know, one of the main scorers on the team, you know, you try to do the best you can to perform and also kind of set an example, but that kind of naturally comes. So I'm not really worried about, you know, you know, who's, who's thinking about me like this and that. You know, I just let my play and my work kind of do the talking. So, yeah, I would say so. Is there a different feel of, I don't know, confidence or momentum with, you know, back-to-back -back playoff appearances, championship last year? They won't win you any games in the fall, but do they add a little bit of confidence in preparing for the fall? Well, I think our reputation as far as making a second round of playoffs these past two years is, is important and it's good and something to build off of. But I think the confidence you get is in with working and building timing and what happens on the practice field because, you know, we could talk all we want about how we did two years ago and last year, but it's a new season and a new team, so who knows what's going to happen. So we just got to work hard and, you know, be confident in that. Nick, new coaches, new teammates. Uh, as of today, how do you feel about the character of this team? I feel good. I mean, I think it's kind of just par land from the past two years. Everybody's pretty tight knit. We have a lot. Of, we have enough guys for, who are older who are still here, so they kind of set the tone. I mean, the guys who had that tone set when I got here in 2022 are still here, so I think that it's really important. I think that maybe next year might be a little bit more of a challenge, but this year the culture's still the same. What was it like with the quarterbacks and the you know the competition there and what you think it'll be like in August? I mean, I have no idea. I mean, I don't really hear anything from, from the guys upstairs. Um, so we'll see. I mean, they, they've been switching on and off on reps, and they've both been working hard, so we'll see what happens. How's your arm? Threw it pretty good today. My arm's all right. You know, my dad played quarterback at UConn. He's good, pretty good, so got a, little, got a little of that in the jeans. So both my brothers played quarterback, so I guess I was the odd man out. But, yeah, it was fun to throw the ball around a little bit. Yeah, of course. It's always frustrating when they don't let us touch the right guys. But uh, we know it's a sack, and we know it's not a sack, so we just gauge it off that. <clears throat> How do you think you played? And um, the coaches have been raving about your spring. Yes, sir. Always room for improvement. Always room for improvement. I don't think I did some good things, did some bad things. Always got to keep working, keep turning up. Don't get too complacent. What is the key at your height to being able to handle yourself on the defensive line? That's a good question. Uh, staying low, low pad level. I know everybody's six three and above. I know I'm, I'm shortest guy on the field, probably shorter than all the receivers. So I just gotta stay low. Don't let them get their hands on me. Just keep work, keep working, always working. <clears throat> there are changes every year, but some pretty significant parts gone from the defense. Mm -hmm. As you look around, what do you kind of see as far as replacements and guys like yourself <laughs> stepping up into those roles? <laughs> I think we're all capable of doing it. I mean, we got a good team by we all we all love each other. Of course we're gonna miss our guys, miss our seniors, gonna we'll miss Tristan, Aiden starting in front of me. But I think we're I think we're handling it good. I think all the replacements know when to step up and they know their job. How did the, the minimal time that you got last year, mm -hmm. but in game action help you now? I think it helped me a lot to give, give me used to the game speed. I know when I got in there at Hampton, made my first tackle, I was super nervous, super nervous. So I think it really helped me, helped me out, uh, gauge the game and just get it, get used to it all. Going into the summer and into next season, where do you feel like you need to individually get better? Uh, I think my hip mobility mainly. When we have those movement steps and all that, I know my coach has been telling me all the time. Get ready to move and you know flow away. You got to get there. Got to get to your gap because if you don't get to your gap, cut up. ADR run. That's how it is in college. I mean, I got to get used to it. That was my main problem last last uh, season, moving, getting to my gap. But working on it, always getting better.